What is going on guys, Carlos here from Live Gaming Paradise. We are back again with another episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. This time we're going to do the Sitsum Shrine and the Death Mountain. And this one is the one that you come across on your way to the top with Yusub. I think his name is Yusub of Goron City. Um, so this is the first time you're here. Thank you very much for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you're a regular or a member, thank you so much for your support. I really, really appreciate it. This one is a pretty cool one. Lots of heat, lots of lava. So you really need to, to be on your guard because if you fall in a lava, that's an instant death straight away. So you might have to do this a couple of times. A controlling device. So this one, you get loads of cars with like steering wheels and stuff. So you can kind of like steer them through the lava. And that's really, really handy. So on the left here, you go to the first car. And what we're going to do, we're going to keep on going left and steering left. And uh, when we get to this area here where you see a ramp and like uh, a place where you put an ore, you turn right in here. And uh, the good thing about these cars here is that you can actually reverse with them. So it uh, makes it much, much simpler to do this than having to, you know, um, turn around. Or I, I have no idea what you would do if you didn't have reverse. When you get to this area here, you get the orb and you just glue it to the cart and then reverse back uh, and we're going to go back to this area here where the ramp is and we're going to go left and put the orb inside of that uh, kind of like hole there on the ground and uh, that will give us access to the chest and then we're going to go and need to, to uh, get uh, the light of blessing and unlock the rest of the shrine so um, just put the ball in the hole in here to begin with and then uh, there you go, the bars will open in here and uh, we're going to be able to get our chest and then we're going to go back onto one of these cards. There's more in here as well, um, but I mean you can choose the same one that you had before. There's a mighty construct bow in here, level 24, so it should be a good one to have. I just grabbed this one in here because it was turned in the right direction instead of having to turn the other one uh, around and then I just continued and there's on the right hand side in here, there's a ramp that goes up to the top. And there is a guardian in there. I just ran him over with this. Uh, it's like a, one of those archer guardians. So I just run him over with his uh, car. And uh, afterwards, just make sure that you avoid its arrows. And afterwards, you can see it's not dealing almost any damage at all. So I came out and I struck him with one of the one of the weapons that I have. But he's stuck underneath the cart in there. And I kept on activating the wheels. It's... It was a big mess in here, but eventually um, I managed to get rid of it and uh, and continue with the with the quest, uh, continue with the shrine. And there you go. You get another strong construct bow in here. So if you've got weak bows, this is the perfect opportunity for you to uh, to get another construct bow. And then we got what we're going to do is we've got one of these flying devices in here with two fans on either side. What we need to do we need to activate it. And then just go forward. As you can see, you have to go in the middle of these two pillars in here to have a good chance of actually completing these. And uh, if you go to the wings, it, the device will actually turn in midair. So if you wanted to turn towards where the light of blessing is, you just turn it in midair and uh, just like that, just keep on going slowly. And when you get to about here, just disconnect the fans or strike the fans so they can so they stop. The other thing you need to do is just tip the front down so you can kind of like be low to the ground. Oh, I mean, you can always uh, you can always just jump out and uh, and glide down very easy. So I guess this is it for this one, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you did like this video or if this video helped you, please give us a like. Consider subscribing so I can continue releasing more content like this. I'll be back again with some more Tears of the Kingdom very, very soon. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.